let's solve this problem also in ANSYS Maxwell software to check how we can apply proper boundary conditions to get the same result as you can see here. After that, we will study the error, how we can calculate error, and we will do convergence analysis. That is that is more numerical calculations, error calculations. So anyway, I create a new project here and insert a Maxwell 2D model. And I create a rectangle here. Let's set the position equal to zero minus one and zero x x x size equal to eight centimeter y size equal to i write not important but i write 20 centimeter because i will explain you the proper boundary conditions and I write here minus 10 centimeter. Okay. So this is the solution region. Something like this one that we have here. We cannot simulate the region to infinity, right? So I consider this geometry. And I change the solution type to electrostatic. As you can see here in ANSYS Maxwell software, we have uh, six solvers, magnetic and electric solvers. So our interest is electrostatic. I press OK. And this is air. This is vacuum, like our example, right? So I press E on my keyboard, select this edge. Let's apply boundary condition, uh, excuse me, an excitation. Voltage, the value of voltage on this edge is equal one. And the value of voltage on this edge is equal to zero. That is ground, right? That is ground. And I want to apply this boundary condition on these two edges apply boundary symmetry let's consider the electric field vector is only tangential here as you know for this example we don't have ey only we have ex because this are two infinite plates and we have EX only, right? We don't have Y component for EY. So I impose this boundary condition also. We have only tangential flux, not normal flux. And I press OK. So let's add a solution setup. Analyze. The solution is in progress, completed. And now I can plot the voltage. You can see variation of the value of voltage here. So let's draw an edge here in the middle of this rectangle. From 0, 0, 0, ATM M00 and rerun the simulation again. From results, field report, rectangular plot, polyline 1, voltage, new report. So you can see the value of voltage here that is from 1 to 0. The mistake is again we didn't 
consider the value of rho naught in our problem. We have volume charge density distributed uniformly in the medium. That is 10 to the power minus 8. So I should select this region, assign excitation, charge. This is Coulomb, but we should consider charge density, Coulomb, per meter square. Here we have meter cube. In the ANSYS Maxwell software, the depths of the problem, when you do two dimensional simulations, the depth of problem by default is equal to one meter. So I apply this excitation charge density. 1e minus 8. Okay. Run the simulation again. Analyze. And as you can see here, we have this waveform. Again, we have an error, right? What is the error? What do you think? This is 1 epsilon r, 1, 8 centimeter. This is 1 e minus 8. So, what, what do you think? What is the... This is symmetry, charge density. This is 1 volt. This is 0. As you can see here, this is 1 volt, this is 0. Rho is minus rho naught. So let's uh, check minus 1e, e, 0.8, analyze. So you can see this curve here. Right. So now you can understand the logic behind this calculation in ANSYS Maxwell software. Right. We have calculated yes. the same solution here using our code that is presented in this reference. In this reference. Right. A, a smooth solution because. ANSYS Maxwell software uses second order elements. We used first order element, but the ANSYS Maxwell uses second order elements. That is one of our next topics, quadratic elements. As you can see here, that the error is lower and the solution is more accurate, right? So the same solution that we calculated using the MATLAB software, considering the, the implementation of the finite element method. So you can try this example in the software for practice.